Bali had promised to give three steps. The first step Vaman took, he covered the earth. The second step he took, he covered the heavens. And his foot was so big, it punctured the edge of the universe. And the divine water outside started coming in. That was the beginning of the Ganga, of Surasari Ganga. Vaman said, now where should I place my third step? Bali Raja, he was a Daitya demon king, but he was very powerful. So, see how astonishing it is. A demon's son is a great devotee, and the devotee's son is again a demon. There is no such rule that a devotee's son will definitely be a devotee. So, Bali, he attacked Indra. And he threw the devatas out. Guru Shukracharya said, Look, there is a rule how you can get the throne of Indra. It is not by dhinga mushti. It is not by force. If you need this throne to be stable, you will have to do 100 Ashwamedh Yagyas. Bali said, let me sit in the celestial abodes and get the yagyas done. Guru Shukracharya said, the devatas, they are a bhog yoni. They cannot do plus, they only do minus. It is in the human form that you have the ability for purusharth to earn. So, Bali then came to the human form. And he started doing yagyas. He had done 99 yagyas. Now the 100th yagya. If he does 100 yagyas, he gets the throne of Indra. Out there, the mother of the devatas was Aditi. The second wife of Kashyap. She was feeling very sorry that my children have lost their Raja Lakshmi. So she then approached Kashyap for some resolution. Kashyap taught her the Payovrat kind of Bhakti. And as a result of that, Bhagavan agreed to come as her child. So by virtue of the blessings that Aditi received, Bhagavan took avatar from her womb as Vaman Bhagavan. Baliye Vaman Bhagavan ki Vaman Bhagavan, he grew to a height of 52 fingers or Bhavan. So because of that Bhavan fingers, he got the name Vaman. He had a very attractive persona. Children automatically are charming. And when God becomes a child, then the charm is incomparable. Brahmaji, he gifted him with the umbrella, the chhatra. Brigu gifted him with the Janeu sacred thread. Somebody else came and gave him the padukas, the wooden sandals. Somebody gave him the renunciant spot. So, Vaman had this attractive persona, his teeth looking like pearls. And in that Rupa Madhuri, he came to the Yagya Mandap of Raja Bali. So when Bali looked at Vaman, he was enchanted. The hundredth Yagya was going on. And Vaman suddenly has entered the Yagya Shala. 
So Bali did not realize that God has come. He was only enchanted by his form. And he said, Brahman Devata, you have blessed me by coming to my Yajna Mandap. How can I serve you? Ask for any gift and I will give it to you. Do you want lots of land, cows? You want clothes, gold, silver? What is it that you want? So Vaman displayed great frugality. He said, it is not good to have many desires. Rather, it's better to keep life simple. All I need from you is three steps of land so that I can sit there and do my Sandhya Vandan. Bali said, Maharaj, you have come to such a powerful king and you are asking for three steps of land? Ask for something more. Vaman said, No, there is no limit to discontentment and desires. If I get three steps, I will be happy. At that time, Guru Shukracharya recognized. He is the guru of the demons. So Shukracharya said, Ma Dehi. My child, he is God. Don't promise to give him what he is asking. He will cheat you and take everything from you. Shukracharya predicted. Bali said, Gurudev. If he is God, then I am blessed that God himself has come to my place. If he is going to snatch everything from me, there can be nothing more blessed than that. Yaha shish hai lahu ki tumdi, hari amrit ki khan. Shish diye jo hari mile to bhi sasta jaan. If you have to give everything and get God, it is a very good bargain. So, Bali rejected his Guru. Because the Guru's instruction here was wrong. So, Shukracharya still did not relent. Bali said, I will give. Vaman said, take the sankalp. So, Bali put his hand and he was lifting the pot of water. Shukracharya entered the pot to somehow foil the effort and he wanted to stop the flow of water. So, Bali is pouring and nothing is coming out. He said, what's the matter? So, he placed the pot, he took a twig and he tried to hit it that if there is some blockade, it should be punctured. At that moment, Shukracharya had peeped out to see what's going on when the twig came from Bali and poor Shukracharya lost one eye. Govinda Govindaya So, now Shukracharya had been filed. Bali took the resolve. The moment he took the resolve, the next moment Vaman transformed into a huge mountain. So where his head was earlier, he could now see the toenail of his foot. Bali said, my God, what is this? The first step Vaman took, he covered the earth. The second step he took, he covered the heavens. And his foot was so big, it punctured the edge of the universe. And the divine water outside started coming in. That was the beginning of the Ganga, of Surasari Ganga. Vaman said, now where should I place my third step? Bali did not hesitate. He said, where is the doubt? He placed his head before Maharaj. Shirodharya, place your foot on my head. So Vaman accepted that as Atma Samarpan, as Sarva Samarpan. He was pleased with the Sarva Samarpan. 
and he said bali you are daitya raj i need to send you to the nether region bali said maharaj i will go on one condition i am willing to stay in narak but my condition will be every time i go out of my palace i should have your darshan every time i enter my palace i should have your darshan bhagwan vaman said that means i have to become your gatekeeper all right i am willing so bali went to reside in the nether region the belief is that he is still there and vaman is standing there as his gatekeeper so out here now parikshit says maharaj you have told me the katha of swayambhu va manu tell me the kathas of the other manus as well so shukadev relates the katha in the second manvantar the name of manu was rochan in the third manvantar the manu was uttam in the fourth manvantar the manu was tamas and in that manvantar the gajendra udhar leela took place so now we come to the vaivaswat manvantar the seventh manvantar in which we are in this he relates the kathas of the surya vansh and the chandra vansh the solar dynasty starting from the sun god and the chandra dynasty starting from the moon god